Hello, everyone. I'd like to talk to you about the fluctuation of dipolar fields in the brain and control of brain functions. Uh, research that we were doing based on a magnetic analysis of brain samples. Uh, well, because uh, we are focusing on a electric function of the brain and within the synapses, because there are all these like ion pumps, sodium pump, potassium pumps. And uh, so everything kind of depends on the threshold uh, electric, uh, of the electric potential uh, that allows, uh, you know, the signal to move uh, along, the, along the neural cell. Uh, we th think that uh, the fact that we have a superparamagnetic particles inside our brain uh, has a potential to allow to, to trigger such a communication. What we find out, uh, and others also, that the brain contains superparamagnetic particles. And because the, uh, there is this fluctuation electric dipoles, the dipoles, when it fluctuates at certain frequency, can match some of the uh, electrical potential. So it can increase or decrease the potential uh, along the wall of the neural cell. And therefore, it can modify the transmission in a synapsis. Um, we it appears that the magnetic nanoparticles have a have a interaction effect between each other, and also that, that they appears uh, that they have an influence uh, to the neurodegenerative diseases. Uh, on the pictures in the middle, you can see that there is a ferritin, which is a molecule that stores iron, and inside the ferritin there were found magnetic particles distributed within the core of the ferritin. In addition, uh, magnetite was also found uh, spread it throughout the, the brains uh, as a part of the uh, accumulation of uh, iron. Uh, and uh, but generally, we think it has to do with the increasing the iron uh, concentration or decreasing the iron concentration in neural cell. And that has to do with the channel that allow the iron to go in and out from the neuro, neuron. Uh, the, the, most of the nanoparticles are superparamagnetic, which is detected by the time dependence. That uh, as soon as you, for example, saturate the, uh, the sample, you can see that there is a, a decay of the magnetic potential as a function of time. Uh, some of the particles can hold the remnants, which uh, we were able to show that uh, there is actually a certain direction, orientation direction in the brain uh, in some of the samples we, we worked on. Um, the main uh, purpose of this poster is to alert you uh, that there is such a potential. So there are nanoparticles that can uh, create the dipolar field that induce uh, electric currents inside the conducting uh, neural tissue. And because uh, our brain operates uh, on based on these signal transmission, uh, there is a potential to influence some of the uh, brain function using the magnetic uh, oscillating fields. And this is all that I would like to say here. That uh, and uh, my poster is open to questions.